Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well and thank you so much for tuning in again. Today we are going to look at traditional multi-page applications and single-page applications. And we'll learn a little bit about what the differences are and how they work. So let's get to it. So first we just want to have a bird's eye overview of what happens when we receive an HTML document. So we, we talked about servers and HTTP earlier, and we know that we send HTTP requests via the browser to servers to access resources. And then the server sends us a response back. And sometimes that response is an HTML page. And what happens is that the browser, it will take that HTML page, it will look at the structure of the page, and it will build it up for us. It'll take a look at the CSS, it will take a look at the JavaScript, and then it'll take all of that, and it will build the web page for us in the browser. So that's all in the domain of the browser. And traditionally, what happened is that when you went to a web page, you would get a HTML document. And then that HTML document would have links to other places uh, on the server that you could send HTTP requests to, and you would receive a new HTML, HTML document. So if we imagine that we are uh, in a multi-page application, then we would first, for instance, go to the root. Uh, so that would be, for example, say we want to go to google.com and we'd get one HTML document there. And in that HTML document, there would be a link to perhaps an about us page. And if we clicked on that link, then we would send a new HTTP request to the server and the server would send us back an about.html page. And this would happen for every single page in that application. So wherever we went in a multi-page application, we would receive a new HTML document. Now, how does that work? Well, let's go, for example, to amazon.com. And if we try to click around on the pages here, you can see that we are getting a full page reload and refresh when we go to these different links. So uh, we can see that the whole page kind of refreshes in front of our eyes as we, as we click around. And that can be fine depending on what your use case is. Uh, having a multi-page application is perfectly fine and in many cases, it can also be more performant uh, than a single page application. But let's take a look at what a single page application is. So if we go back to our uh, sketch file here, a single page application is an application where you go to the web page, you get one index.html page that is served at the root of the web page, and in that uh, web page, you have some JavaScript that picks up on the rest of the routing and then just handles all of the requests from there. So if you go to a web page and you get um, the HTML document and then you try to navigate to other parts of that site, then the JavaScript, it will pick up on um, the path that you're trying to go, go in the browser. So on your client, the JavaScript will run and it will say, okay, you're trying to go to the about page. Well, I am just going to uh, pick up on that. And then JavaScript will handle sending a request to the um, about part, for example, of the API. And then it will receive some data and then it will just update the current page with that data. So you don't actually get a new HTML document. You just replace what's in the document uh, from before. And that has some interesting uh, effects. Uh, for instance, 
if we take a look at this example in Trello, uh, which is a single page application, uh, when we try to, um, let's see, let's add a list here. So let's just make an arbitrary list of to do's. You can see that um, we are actually not navigating around to anything. Everything's happening in place here, even though we are kind of uh, clicking on links, uh, making actions. Um, but I guess the, the, the uh, main part here is if we try to navigate, um, you can see that everything's happening a little bit smoother. Um, we're not actually making any requests that triggers a full reload. So a single page application has advantages in that it will kind of make your whole product a little, uh, the experience will be a little bit smoother and it will seem more coherent and connected. And it will be easier for you to perform uh, animations from one transition to the next. So it has that going for it. Um, but it's not just good things that come with single page applications. Um, and one of the things that we need to be aware of is that we're actually shipping a lot more um, bytes and code down the browser or down to the clients when we are using single page applications um, because we are writing uh, effectively our entire apps in, in JavaScript. And to power a single page application, you have to send that JavaScript down um, and it has to run on the client. So we are making that concession, but there are tools nowadays that kind of negates some of this. Uh, for instance, you can do uh, code splitting with Webpack and uh, make sure that you only um, send down initially what you need in order to render the main part of the page. Um, you, you can do lots of things like that to kind of um, work on the performance part of this. But the, the main idea here is that a single page application is usually powered by or is powered by JavaScript and it only runs in a single HTML page. So you're just um, changing the contents of the HTML page instead of kind of navigating around all of the different um, on getting a new page every time you navigate around. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it there for single page versus multi page application. Just uh, remember that in a multi page application, you get a new HTML document every time you uh, go to a new part of the site. In a single page application, you get one HTML document and then you use JavaScript to kind of handle the rest of the application. So uh, thanks a lot for tuning in again. And I'll see you in the next video.